Virtually every single day, people ask me if I'm running. When will I declare? Do I stand a chance? And if I am really serious? My answer each and every time has been something to the effect of, watch this space. Time will tell. Today is that time. I've always felt that unlike in 2007, the decision to run has to be born out of a collective will to run, not an individual ambition born out of a single self-absorbing or self-centered agenda. If I was to ask the question, I would have phrased it slightly differently. My version would have been, will we run? Do we declare? Do we stand a chance? And are we serious? This cannot be about just me. River State has always struck me as a state of huge potential, blessed with all kinds of resources, most of which lay above the ground, not under it. I look at it not with the eyes of what it is, but what it can be, and consequently, my mind has been focused on what it will take to get it there. Nobody rises to low expectations, not even a state. So it was, it was with these goals in mind, my team set out to chart a path to our collective prosperity. We all know where this state has come from. In 2007, we had a state that only a few of us were proud of. Almost eight years later, we run the risk of returning to that state. Violence, kidnappings, politics of bitterness and ethnic divisions have re-emerged, and the peace we all enjoyed is flickering like a candle in the wind. What went wrong? We have to save this state. People who aspire for office are sometimes bothered enough to go out of their way to tell the people what they will do for them, courtesy of a manifesto. For that, we the people are grateful. But my team and I have always insisted that instead of starting with telling them what you will do for them, why not ask them what they would want first? One of the habits we learned is to seek first to understand, then to be understood. Yes, Stephen Covey taught quite a few of us. That is why in 2012, we carried out a baseline survey of the wants and needs of Rivers people across almost 200 communities in the 23 local government areas of Rivers State, asking people what they feel about government, the gaps they see in service delivery, and what they would like done differently. The results and my team's idea of effective solutions is the framework from which a roadmap for the renewal of River State has emerged, first of its kind by a civilian. I have thought long and hard about politics and the possibility of running for the position of governor in River State. As it stood, here were my options. One, run for governor under the platform of PDP. Two, run for another position. Three, be a bystander in the party. Or four, retire completely from politics. Let me confess very quickly that since my ambition is primarily to deliver our president, working for a party that will not promote that agenda is not really an option. Even if by some miracle of omission, APC offered me the ticket on a platter of gold, I would not take it. In addition, being an observer in this climate reminds me of the phrase that a spectator is either a coward or ignorant. I'd like to think that I am neither. That leaves me only two options, running for governor or retiring from politics and facing my businesses. I have thought long and hard over these two options. Even though I have worked for the men and women of the state and beyond in my own little way, the inability to satisfy a huge number of them, even when my own prosperity is put at risk, has left me feeling that I'm probably better off facing me and my family's troubles, attending to my aged father, my disabled son, my beautiful wife, and my other lovely children. If I don't take care of me and mine, will anybody else bother? That is why the decision to quit politics is attractive. That is why I'm tempted to hang up my boots leave the field of play, and take a back seat to help support and usher in a new style of leadership. But where is this new style of leadership? We have looked long and hard at the contenders for the office. Who will lay the foundations of a new Dubai in the Niger Delta? Who will bring peace where there has been war and has a track record to prove it? Who will create thousands and thousands of jobs, close ranks across party and community lines, build bridges across ethnic divides, and give Rivers people a reason to smile again? Who will emphasize the importance of a new transport system, invest in low-cost and medium-cost housing, 
bring the much needed development to the rural areas and make time for a truly decentralized river state who will confront corruption without fear or favor who has touched so many without ever holding a political office yet has built businesses from nothing the answer in my heart and the answer in my head is team prince will that is why i've thought long and hard and i have now decided to in spite of the challenges ahead tell you today that i will run for the esteemed office of the governor of river state under the platform of the pdp in the days and the weeks ahead i will be collecting my nomination forms unveiling my roadmap for the renewal of river state and introducing my campaign team to the world at our new state-of-the-art offices here in port Harcourt on Aba road i hope that all of you who hear this message will feel my passion and know my love for what will soon be one of the greatest states here in nigeria those who know me know that as it took me this long to emerge there will be no turning back have no fear this train has only one stop and that stop is brick house in 2015. i have always maintained that it would be governor or nothing now it is clear that nothing is not an option our doors will be open to all we need volunteers newcomers to the political scene and seasoned politicians who believe in the people and river state if you live in port Harcourt, we can be reached via the phone text only on 0807 700 via the web on www.toyeprincewill.com via bb on 79a5a1ec via twitter on the handle at Tonya Princewell via email Tonya Princewell at gmail.com or via Facebook at Prince Tonya Princewell this is the winning team and even if you don't come from River State or live in River State you can help us achieve what I believe will be a collective victory every little helps register online at our website and choose a category to volunteer in we need so much help. I have not accumulated the wealth others have. I have no state or federal appointment, but I've been working with the people non-stop even when there were no elections, and I don't have a godfather other than God the Father. I may be younger than most, but my team and I guarantee you that winning will send a message, very strong one, that good men can win too. Today it is me, but thanks to my youth agenda tomorrow, it may be you or even your children. Politics is too important to leave to politicians. Let's join hands together to make this work. You know we can. Thank you. God bless River State. God bless the Niger Delta. And God bless Nigeria.